Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 136 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're already attentive, let's just dive right in. So this question is saying, I'm going to denote X right here. They denote X to be the number of rolls needed to get five. And Y is denoted as the number of rolls needed to get six. So they're saying find the expected value of X given the number of rolls needed to get a six is two. So if there's like however many rolls, the second roll has to be a six, right? So then not six would be this area right here and then anything above three. Agreed? So for X. So this, by the law of total probability, we can actually break down into the x to the value of x given x is equal to 1 times the probability that x is equal to 1 plus the probability times the x to the value of x given x is greater than 3 times the probability that x is greater than 3. Because again, if y is equal to 2 by the conditional probability, we ha there is two scenarios. Essentially, there's when x is equal to 1 or when x is greater than this 3. But we, can we know that this one has to always be a 6. So the probability that the x is equal to 1 is actually 1 fifth. Because there's one less slots and you're picking 1. So the probability here, then it would be 1 fifth. And likewise, if x is greater than 3, this part right here, there is only 5 slots because this second number has to be a 6 always. So then there's only 5. And essentially, these two are complements because x can only be 1 or 3, 4, 5, 6. So then this we can say is 1 minus 1 fifth, or we can just count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the ex expected value of number of rolls need to get a 5 if the first roll is already 5? Well, that's 1, right? Because you already have 5 on the first one. So that's 1. And then the second part here, this one's a little bit trickier, I think. What is the expected value of number of rolls need to get a 5 given the number of rolls is greater than 3, right? So then that means, and because there's two things that are um, memoryless, for discrete functions, it's geometric, and for um, non-discrete functions, like continuous functions, it's going to be exponential. So because those two functions are memoryless, meaning it doesn't really matter what happened before 3, we can actually say that this is equal to the expected value of x plus 2, right? Because we're looking for greater than 3. So this is greater than 3 part here. So we don't really care what happened at 1 or 2. But we still have to consider him by adding the 2 here. And so going with that, this is 1 fifth plus what is the expected value of x? So the expected value of x, like normally the number of rolls needed to get a 5, if there's 6 sides, is just 6, right? Like 1 6. So that, that's the probability of you getting a 5, and it is 1 over 1 6, right? Because 1 over p is the excessive value for geometric functions. So 1 over 1 6 plus 2. So this whole thing times 4 fifth. So this is also equal to 1 fifth plus 6 plus 2 times 4 fifth, aka 1 fifth plus 8 times 4 fifth, which is equal to 6.6, our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!